Hi everybody, this is Nate King. You know, we are living in a season where greetings are few and far between. There have been hardly any handshakes, very few high fives, and certainly no hugging in any of the social circles that I have been a part of for the past several weeks. And so today, I want to share with you a greeting from God's Word. And this greeting comes from Philippians, and it's written from Paul to the church at Philippi. And to fully understand how amazing this greeting is for the Philippians and also for us today, we have to understand that Paul was in prison when he wrote this. And I know that some of you feel like you are in prison today because of the quarantine that we are experiencing. But Paul was actually in prison when he wrote this. And so there wasn't a face-to-face -face connection, greeting, that Paul was able to give to the Philippians. But he still wanted to greet them and, and share with them his heart for them in this greeting. So Philippians chapter 1, the first two verses are where we see Paul's greeting to the Philippians. He says, Paul and Timothy servants of Christ Jesus to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi with the overseers and deacons grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ I just want to key in on that second verse there where Paul says grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ you know, I know that there are a lot of needs that each one of us are experiencing as a result of this coronavirus that is taking the whole world by surprise. But Paul gives us a great truth to think about in the midst of all the need that we might come in contact with, either today or tomorrow or next week or, or maybe next month or next year. He says, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you today, if you are a Christian, if you are in Jesus Christ, if you believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, then your greatest need has already been met. And our greatest need is grace and peace from God. Paul says to the church of Philippi, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So whatever need you may come in contact with today, whatever need you might have tomorrow, be encouraged, be reminded that your greatest need is already met in Jesus Christ. He goes on to say, Maybe just to further expound on this verse, he says, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This grace and peace that we have as Christians doesn't come from within us. It doesn't come from how much toilet paper we have. It doesn't come from how stocked our shelves are in our own homes. It comes from God. It's rooted in God, and it's rooted in in Jesus Christ and so I want to encourage you today that if you are in Jesus Christ your greatest need is already met whatever other need may come your way remember that you have grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ so greetings to you today not from me but from Paul Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.